Over the past two decades, India has seen an impressive economic growth and prosperity. However, despite its economic boom, benefits are not reaching the people. According to a report entitled State of World's Mothers 2013 by a charity Save the Children, over 300,000 babies die within 24 hours of being born in India. Other than infections and other preventable causes cited there, the charity has blamed the crisis on lack of political will and funding. The report says a decade of rapid economic growth has not benefited those most in need. There is the need for some improvement in policies. Unfortunately, over the last so many decades, some policies with regard to use of these interventions for newborns have not been really improved, have not been revised, have not been operationalized into programs. And then, of course, there is need for program improvement. Based on data from some 186 countries, the report said that South Asia, which accounts for around 24% of world's population, records 40% of world's first day deaths, of which India accounts for 29% of all newborn deaths worldwide. The charity has identified three major causes of newborn deaths, such as complications during birth, prematurity and infections. More than half of all Indian women give birth without the help of skilled healthcare professionals, leading to infections and complications, the report said. The cause is that at this point newborns are born in facilities, they are born at home, they have issues of the referral from their home to the facility and back. And what we need to ensure is that wherever, whenever a newborn is born, the mother and the newborn is provided absolutely the best care that's required to be able to ensure that every mother and the newborn not only just survives, but also thrives. The charity has also proposed ways to deal with problems of infant mortality. It says the issue could be addressed by minimizing the equity gap in developing countries like India, where economic benefits have been shared unequally, and if all newborns in India experienced the same survival rates as those of rich Indian families, nearly 360,000 more babies would survive each year. The report also highlighted similar problems in neighboring Bangladesh and Pakistan, where annual first day deaths recorded at 28,000 and 60,000 with chronic malnourishment of mothers, one of the major factors for the fertilities. Experts say there is a severe lack of political will and investment in public health. Therefore, the government and its other partners need to work together and implement life-saving projects to improve families' access to health care. Munawar Zaman, Press TV, New Delhi.